Now the prayer starter and the decree. Father, strengthen me because my heart has grown weak from the incessant attacks of the wicked one. My bones feel weak and my soul is dry. Help me rise again. I decree the cords of wicked wrapped around my life are cut asunder. I declare new strength is my portion and weakness fades away from my soul. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Father, we thank you this morning. You're a good God. There's no God like you. You're the strong son of God. There's no one stronger than you. Whatever strong man is present in our lives, holding back our blessings, keeping us oppressed, you are the stronger man. You're the greater one. Greater is he who is in us than he that is in the world. We believe that today. We believe on your name. We believe on your word that never fails. You are magnanimous, you're holy, you are all powerful, so we praise your name today, God. We praise you with our whole heart, we praise you with everything in us, from the deepest recesses of our soul and our spirit, we praise you. We are in unison with you, one with you, on one accord with your word, with your ways, with your will, God, would you help us to keep our eyes on the prize in the midst of the battle. Of the battle. Oh Jesus, so oh, Jesus, many times so we many set times out to do the great exploits that you've called us to do. We set out to raise that family. We set out to build that business. We set out to do that ministry. And the enemy comes in like a flood. So many times we set our face like flint. But then the opposition comes. Then the feedback, the backlash comes. We wait for the breakthrough but we get the backlash. We're waiting for the victory, but we become victimized. We're waiting for the the, the, the win, but we begin to whine. God, would you help us in the name of Jesus to keep our eyes on the prize. Help us to remember in the heat of the battle why we're doing what we're doing, for whom we're doing what we're doing. Would you help us to keep our eyes on the prize because prize it's one thing to set our forehead like, like flint it's another thing it to keep our thing. eyes focused on Jesus the author Jesus. and the finisher of the our faith the, faith the fighter the warrior who never the lost a battle help us to keep our mind stayed on you in the midst of the battle because then we will find ourselves maintaining perfect peace help us to cast our care upon you because upon then you. we will find ourselves will find in perfect ourselves peace. In perfect we will peace. find ourselves will with find the ourselves peace of God that passes God all passes understanding. All understanding. It, shall it shall guard our hearts. It shall guard our, guard our minds in Christ Jesus because you said it would. So we because say yes. We say it. yes. We say yes. We will keep our eyes on the prize. We will yes. keep we'll moving keep forward steadily. One step at a time if we have to. To, walking by faith and not walking by sight by every day of our lives. Of the our just lives. shall live by faith. So we lift up faith. our shield so of faith even faith now. Even we now. lift it up by the might of God, with the strength of God, helping us to keep it high. The shield of faith lifted up. The name of Jesus lifted high. Help us, Lord, to stay in the posture of victory. Roaring from a place of victory. Speaking from a place of victory, from a, fighting from a place, place of victory, of victory prophesying from a, from a place of victory. victory. God, would you help us to keep a victory mindset? For the mindset of a warrior is a victorious mindset. No soldier should ever go into battle without counting the cost, but no soldier should ever go into battle with a defeatist mindset. So God, in the name of Jesus, would you break off any measure of of defeatism of our soul. Of of the our Lord soul shows me some of soul. you were, 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 were bruised or, or bloodied or injured in a previous spiritual battle. You were betrayed by somebody. You were abandoned by somebody. You lost something. You, you were stolen from. You were lied to.
to. Oh, I don't know what it was. Some of you have different issues. But the thing is, is that if you're not careful, you'll walk forward with a defeatist mindset into the next battle because you got so beat up in the last battle. You'll walk into the next battle wondering if you're going to win, wondering if you'll be beat down again, wondering what's going to happen. That is the wrong attitude. Let me pray, teach you for a moment. That is the wrong attitude. If you can't step on to the battlefield with a victorious mindset, you ought not to step on the battlefield until you can shirk off that defeatist mentality because you'll carry that mindset. You'll speak forth words of defeat. You'll think thoughts of defeat. You'll emanate defeat and you'll see defeat. The enemy can smell defeat on you. You are not defeated. You are victorious. You are you not, are not overcome, you but you overcome by the word, you are not by the blood, you will by the testimony, you are by the power, by the, by the blood, might of Jesus Christ who lives on the inside of you. Christ, oh God, would you help us? To you shake off me. every defeatist mindset. God, would you, would you forgive us for speaking words of defeat? For, for wondering how the outcome's going to be. Wondering what the outcome's going to be. We don't have to wonder. We don't have, we don't to, have wonder. to wonder what the outcome well, is. You already won the battle. You already, you already defeated the, the foes. You already, you already put the principalities and the powers to shame. We don't have to wonder how it's going to pan out. You already won. You already won. So help us. To set so our face us, like flint, yes, us, Lord, to but to cultivate like a victorious mindset, to cultivate, to cultivate the attitude mindset, of a winner, to go into the battle knowing the that if winner, God is for us, then who can be against us? For us? Help us to go into the battle us. with our head held high. Help us to go into the battle with a confidence in our God. Help us to go into the battle knowing that the angel armies are on standby, ready to be dispatched by the captain of the host at any moment moment in time when we might need them. Help us when we step onto the battlefield to already have the assurance in our hearts that we shall overcome, that we shall win. We're in it to win it. We will not lose. We cannot be defeated when we're hidden in Christ. With the sword of the Spirit never fails because the sword of the Spirit is the Word of God and the Word of God never fails. The Word of God is like a fire. The Word of God is like a hammer. The Word of God is sharp word of God it's sharp. cutting it's it cutting. divides it, it victors divides. god help us today to keep your Father word god, in today, our mouth in our not mouth. what the enemy spoke not to our heart not the fear laced not words the fear, not the defeatist words not the, defeatist not the words, confused not words the not the beat down words beat help us not words. to let the last help skirmish or the the apparent loss of the last season pepper our mindset and dilute our faith in this next season because even if we did lose something in the last did, season, we are able, well able, we to march able, right back to the right enemy's camp the enemy's and take camp. it back. I said we can take it back. We can take back what the devil stole, or God can return it to us in another way. We didn't lose a thing. We are in Christ. We don't lose anything ever. God restores. We don't lose. God repays. We don't lose. God reconciles. We don't lose. God recompenses. God we don't lose. God don't brings lose. the payback. God Whatever looks payback. like a loss is not Whatever really a loss, like a loss because God really loss works because all God works things all together things for the good, for the to, good those to those who love him and are called according to his purposes. Whatever it looks like we lost, we didn't Whatever really lose it. Like we we might have lost something in the natural, but we didn't lose nothing in the spirit, and we're able to go back in and take back even the natural losses in the name of Jesus. We have not lost a thing. God can take what the enemy God meant for evil and, evil and turn it for good, just for like good, he did for Joseph. Like he did He'll for do Joseph. it for you. He's He'll no respecter of persons. So we thank no you, Jesus. Hey, persons, we thank you, Lord. We didn't lose a thing. We didn't lose a oh, thing. they might have stolen from you. They might have.